Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 001 video. And today, we're back at X-Plane. We are at Area 51, as you can already tell. Yeah, I had to remove the ortho scenery, so it doesn't look as good. But now, today, we're gonna do a challenge. We're gonna fly at 737. No. Max. Just kidding. No, this is not a Max. This is a normal 737, so we should be totally able to fly this plane. What we're gonna do today is actually remove the vertical stabilizer. And something that I've just noticed was that the vertical stabilizer is literally the biggest part of the 737. As you can see right here, the vertical stabilizer is actually big. But what that means is that it's very important to fly. Or is it? Let's find out today. <laughs> so yeah, we have removed wings from aircraft before and other stuff. Today, we're gonna remove the vertical stabilizer and see if the plane will still be able to operate in the air. My guessings are probably not. We're probably gonna yaw off the side entirely and crash because this vertical stabilizer slash rudder part is not called stabilizer for no reason. Obviously, it's stabilizer because it stabilizes the flight and makes the airplane go straight and not like die and flip all the way over. So let's see if that actually is true. I don't know, I'm not an expert. You can kind of tell that like always. So the sad part is that we won't have any animations. I know, very sad. The only plane that I'm aware of that has removable vertical stabilizers is the Cirrus Jet. It's a very nice plane. Let me just demonstrate. As you can see, we have the wings menu and here we can simply remove wings or vertical stabilizers or the horizontal stabilizers. But as you can see, we have just removed all our wings. Let's go ahead and use our parachute to save ourselves, which is something that works in the search jet. Let's just go back to the 737 because that's what we actually care about, right? 737 max 8? Nah, let's go for the <laughs> normal one. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Let's just go into the air and remove the rudder surface slash vertical stabilizer. Let's go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. Calm down. Now, actually, some time ago, this happened in New York. Basically, there was wake turbulence and and the pilot was actually using the rudder. I don't know why, but he tried to smooth it out, I guess. And so the actual vertical stabilizer fell off and the plane crashed. You can already tell this won't be an easy flight. All right, let's access the failure menu. Now on top, we see Thomas Cook. Just kidding. And as you can see, we have a lot of things to remove. Let's just go ahead and remove the vertical stabilizer. So for some reason, we have two parts of the vertical stabilizer. I don't know why that is. Probably the vertical stabilizer is separated in two parts or something. Let's just start by removing one because we want to have this video longer than like one minute. Let's go. All right, we have removed some part of the vertical stabilizer. Again, we can't see anything of that, but the plane is still flying. Let's try to move the rudder. Oh, okay. This still works. That's kind of interesting. Oh, never mind. We don't have rudder controls. Okay. So that already is gone. Oh, wait. I think that's how it works. So part one is probably the rudder surface and part two of the vertical stabilizer is the actual vertical stabilizer. That would make sense. So right now we have no rudder controls. As you can see, when we yaw to the right and to the left, we have no visual effect on the actual surface. So let's go ahead and remove the second part, shall we? How is this still flying? So we have no control on the yaw, which is very weird, but uh, we're not crashing. That doesn't work. No. So once you're kind of inverted and stuff, you're basically dead because you can't really recover. Yep. Okay, now I see some effects. Jesus Christ. So right now we found out that the 737 is able to stay in the air without a vertical stabilizer, I guess? Yeah, I don't know if that's realistic. Let's try another plane and see if we have the same effect. Because I can imagine that removing the vertical stabilizer will cause an immediate crash. All right, so here we are in a 747. Let's try if removing the vertical stabilizer on that one does like anything. And we have no vertical stabilizer, so we have no yaw control. Though, the plane is still flying. All right, that's acceptable. But now we can really see what kind of effect this has. Oh yes, okay, now I see. As you can see, we can yaw off really fast because we have basically no stabilization, which means this plane is kind of uncontrollable. You can still make a smooth landing or something, some emergency landing in the desert, I guess. So yeah, this is really not a smooth flight anymore. And we can't control this at all, even though we still have a 
ailerons, but those don't seem to help anymore. The only thing we can do is try to bank enough and then pull up. That's the only way we can kind of change our heading. Let's go ahead and remove the horizontal stabilizer as well and see if that works. Let's go. So we have lost control entirely. Okay, that's kind of what I expected as a result. I mean, you can kind of still control the plane with flaps and spoilers, but that's probably it. Yeah. Let's try to get this thing landed, I guess. So yeah, we really can't recommend removing the horizontal stabilizers. Maybe let's try a smaller plane. Maybe that will work. Again, we will probably see the exact same effect. Okay, so let's try to bank right. We will probably have that exact same effect that we don't crash, apparently. Duh. Okay, that's interesting. We have no crash. Probably because of this plane's shape, this thing still works quite well, even without a vertical stabilizer. That would make sense actually so yeah that was hard oh okay that's probably not the best landing maybe we can try the antonov this one has a very 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 different vertical stabilizer design that we can try out right let's just remove the vertical stabilizers so we have just removed all the vertical stabilizers let's go and try to fly okay this works way too well wait but this is still working right probably doesn't work with the antonov because this is a very bad flight model stop it get some help maybe the concord yeah instant crash i guess let's go to cruise altitude and cruise speed as well so really fast you know well, let's remove the vertical stabilizer right we have just removed that we are still flying but once we try banking to the left or to the right we immediately start spinning not the most comfortable flight yeah how are the engines doing right yeah pretty good that's nice let's uh, open all the doors passengers we need to jump out we have lost our vertical stabilizer please jump out now meanwhile we see a very nice looking spiral this is beautiful so as you can see this is kind of doing some barrel rolls i mean it was still flying yeah, removing the vertical stabilizer is probably not the best idea. Well, I don't know. We might try the C-130. Probably we will see some damage. Let's remove the vertical stabilizers again. And yeah, we can see some kind of the same effect. We have no bank controls. And as soon as we bank too much... We die. Well, look at that wing flex. You know, every plane can turn into a bird eventually. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.